ఈ వీడియోలో మనం త్రీ టాపిక్స్ డిస్కస్ చేస్తున్నాం అవి ఏంటంటే రియాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ యాసిడ్స్ విత్ బేసెస్ రియాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ యాసిడ్స్ విత్ మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్స్ అండ్ ద థర్డ్ వన్ ఈజ్ రియాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ బేసెస్ విత్ మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్స్ ఈ త్రీ రియాక్షన్స్ ని కూడా మనం న్యూట్రలైజేషన్ రియాక్షన్స్ అంటాం అలా అని ఎందుకు అంటాము లెటర్స్ డిస్కస్ ఈ వీడియో చివరి వరకు చూడండి సో దాట్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ వెల్ ఓకే let us first study reaction of acids with bases acids angane manaku first gurtu vache venti hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid etc right and bases ante sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide potassium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide and so on right now what happens when you add acids with bases when acids react with bases what you get is a salt and water acids react with bases to produce a salt and water let's write this equation acid plus base giving rise to salt and water right now i have a question what happens when hydrochloric acid is added to sodium hydroxide okay we know sodium hydroxide is a base and hydrochloric acid is an acid right when you mix these two the reaction happens such that you have a salt in this particular case it is sodium chloride salt and water forming right so if you write the chemical equation it is naoh that is sodium hydroxide plus hcl giving rise to nacl salt and h2o water right this is liquid nacl is dissolved in water that's why this is aqueous and hcl since it is dilute hydrochloric acid it is also aqueous and naoh is also aqueous okay and the reaction is exothermic you remember when acids react with bases the reaction is exothermic it means heat is liberated during the reaction right it means for this equation i can write plus q meaning the heat is liberated during the reaction understood the reaction of acid with base is also called neutralization reaction please note this reaction of acid with base is also called neutralization reaction neutralization reaction lo emem products vache oka salt ochindi water ochindi right when you have salt and water as the products you can think of that reaction as neutralization reaction also please note this for example when you take antacid tablet okay antacid tablet contains base mgoh twice magnesium hydroxide untundi if you consume that what happens in the stomach actually it neutralizes some amount of acid present in the stomach so that the acidity problem is suppressed right if somebody has acidity we will say that you have to take antacid tablet right or syrup once you take antacid tablet or the syrup what happens the neutralization reaction happens in the stomach such that some amount of acid is consumed in the reaction or neutralized in the reaction okay now the question is why this is called neutralization reaction right to understand that let's let's take a simple example let's take 2 ml of dilute naoh dilute naoh in a test tube and add a drop of phenolphthalein indicator phenolphthalein indicator range as the id base kabatti naoh base kabatti it is going to change the color of liquid to pink right we know that phenolphthalein is colorless in acidic conditions and turns to pink with base manaki test tube lo 2 ml of dilute naoh undi right it is a base 
and we are adding phenolphthalein indicator anagane em avutundi the contents of the test tube are going to turn to pink color right the solution in the test tube turns to pink now we are going to add hcl to the test tube drop by drop okoka drop pipette lo teeskuni okoka drop waste undandi then what happens this reaction happens right we have 2 ml of naoh already and we are dropping little bit of hcl drop by drop right it means this reaction happens okay some amount of naoh present in the test tube is going to react with the few drops whatever we are dropping of hcl right to form nacl and h2o okay when you keep on adding hcl drop by drop what happens the total naoh gets consumed right when the total naoh gets consumed what you have in the test tube only nacl and water right when all the naoh is consumed in the reaction the reaction is happening because you are adding hcl drop by drop right once all the NaOH is consumed in the reaction, the test tube will have only water and salt. Manak telsu, base ga unte ganka content to pink color lo untundi, edi phenolphthalein indicator valla. Now there is no base, right? NaOH chanta consume hai And you have only water and salt. NaCl, salt solution we prepare yes, sir, and koni dana color on untunda unda, right? It means automatically the solution in the test tube is going to be colorless right once all the NaOH is consumed the solution in the test tube is going to turn colorless right it means the NaOH base in the test tube is neutralized by HCl added and the e particular reaction in neutralization reaction and we have a base that is neutralized now by the acid the solution now has no acid no base it is all neutral right that's why it is called neutralization reaction understood now you add two more drops of naoh hcl adds in drop by drop right now we are going to add naoh to the same test tube two drops what happens now? The solution is becoming basic now, right? And the base ga marthundi. Because earlier it was all neutral, right? Now we are adding a little bit of amount of base. If phenolphthalein indicator in yasthundi, again it turns the solution to pink color. Understood? Now let us discuss about reaction of acids with metal oxides. Acids are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, etc. Right? And many more acids you, you know. And metal oxides, and again we know these are oxides of metal. And oxygen undali, metal undali. Right? This is sodium oxide, this is calcium oxide, CaO. Magnesium oxide is MgO and CuO is copper oxide and many more oxides will be there. Okay. Now the question is what happens when acids and metal oxides react? The acids are going to react with metal oxides to produce a salt and water. Salt and edi manu e metal oxide in this kundama metallic salt of and water is going to get produced. Right? It means I can write the word equation as metal oxides plus acid giving rise to salt and water. We earlier learned that when acid reacts with bases, acids react with bases, they are producing salt and water. Right? Even in this reaction, we are getting salt and water as the products. So, acid is present here, acid is also present here. 
metal oxide is here but in this case it is bases right it means can i say that metal oxides are basic in form when acids react with metal oxides we are getting salt and water right here also we are getting salt and water you have acids and acids same but then bases and metal oxides based on this you can say that metal oxides are in general basic in nature understood now i have a question what happens when hydrochloric acid is added to copper oxide so the reaction happens such that you have copper chloride forming as salt and water also as one of the products right the chemical reaction takes place to form copper chloride and water so the chemical equation is going to be cuo that is copper oxide plus 2 hcl that is hydrochloric acid giving rise to copper chloride and h2o h2o is liquid right copper chloride salt is dissolved in water that's why it is aqueous right hcl is dilute hydrochloric acid that's why it is also aqueous and copper oxide is a powder that's why it is solid and this reaction is an exothermic reaction that's why it is plus q heat is getting liberated right the reaction is exothermic so heat is getting liberated during the reaction that's why we have written plus q here okay to test this in the laboratory what you have to do is take small amount of copper oxide powder in a beaker copper oxide powder a color lo untundi black color lo untundi slowly add dilute hcl to this beaker and mix copper oxide powder kada meer hydrochloric acid ni slow ga add chestu you you know shake the beaker so that these two contents will mix together once mixing aithe ganaka reaction starts to happen right a reaction avutundi copper oxide is going to react with hcl to form cucl2 that is copper chloride and water so copper chloride form ayya koddi manake em avutundi the solution color is going to change to bluish green intha mundu black color lo ana copper powder undi copper oxide powder undi right అది రియాక్షన్ అవడం ద్వారా కాపర్ క్లోరైడ్ గా కన్వర్ట్ అవుతుంది కదా కాపర్ క్లోరైడ్ గా కన్వర్ట్ అయితే బ్లూయిష్ గ్రీన్ గా సొల్యూషన్ కలర్ మారుతుంది అర్థమైందా యాజ్ ద రియాక్షన్ ప్రొసీడ్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ ద సొల్యూషన్ కలర్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు చేంజ్ టు బ్లూయిష్ గ్రీన్ ఇనిషియల్ గా బ్లాక్ కలర్ లో ఉన్న పౌడర్ అండ్ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ యాడెడ్ డైల్యూట్ హెచ్సిఎల్ టు ఇట్ వన్స్ ద రియాక్షన్ హ్యాపెన్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ కాపర్ క్లోరైడ్ అండ్ వాటర్ యాజ్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్ so the color of the copper chloride is bluish green please note this this reaction is also a neutralization reaction in the neutralization reaction and now we have a salt and water forming right in the mundu acids to bases to react aithe water and salt form aithe than neutralization reaction ani elaga annamo ikkada kuda salt and water maatrame form avutne kabatti this reaction is also called neutralization reaction understood let us now discuss about reaction of bases with non metal oxides bases anagane sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide potassium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide ila meeku oh group evaithe unnayo vaatini bases antam right now non metal oxides non metals and oxygen carbon is a non metal right sulfur is a non metal nitrogen is a non metal right that's why non metal oxides are going to be carbon dioxide carbon monoxide kuda avochu right sulfur dioxide no2 and these are few examples of non metal oxide now the question is what happens when non metal as oxides interact with bases when non metal oxides interact with bases the reaction happens to form a salt and water for example we have already seen this reaction co2 
is going to react with CaOH twice, that is called lime water, to form CaCO3 salt and water. This reaction occurs in metal carbonates. When metal carbonates react with acids, we know that carbon dioxide gas comes out, right? A carbon dioxide gas in test chain, we were using CaOH twice as in the test tube, right? CaOH twice low and carbon dioxide pass in a premotundi, slow ga milky white look marpotan and jepto. Apudu, we said that CaCO3 salt is getting formed and jepto, right? Now you see CO2 when it reacts with calcium hydroxide, you have CaCO3 salt forming and water forming, right? So, can I say now that? Non metal oxide, when it reacts with base, it gives you salt and water. Right? Non metal oxide, when it is reacting with base, it is going to give you salt and water as the products. Salt and water products cause the what neutralization reaction and anton chepam, right? Mano? We know that bases react with non metal oxides to produce salt and water, right? The bases are reacting with non-metal oxides such as carbon dioxide or sulfur dioxide or nitrous oxide to give you salt and water. We earlier learned that acids and bases react to form salt and water. Acids and bases majuna reaction, neutralization reaction and they non-metal oxides and basis majuna reaction koda neutralization reaction ana that is one right and second thing is ikkada bases unnai ikkada bases unnai ikkada acids undi ikkada non metal oxides undi deen base chesku manam em anipochu non metal oxides are acidic in nature anipochu okay in general non metal oxides are acidic in nature for example, Miru, Mikel Santundi, Mano soft drinks this Kuntanga, the Andula carbon dioxide untundi. Okay? Soft drinks eku this Kunti acidity problem with a chance on the Mikel Skadadi. In the coup, since carbon dioxide itself is in acidic nature, and when it is mixed with water, it is going to form acids. Okay? That's the reason. Now you understood why these reactions, these three reactions discussed in this video are called neutralization reactions because all these reactions are giving salt and water as the products. Understood?